Um, so in terms of GMS in Africa, the GMS in Africa program for the first time brought together scientists from all over Africa in different consortiums to look at terrestrial and oceanographic data. There were 12 consortia. Uh, we are fortunate that we are the head of one of them. Um, and we are all looking at oceans and coastal information. So Marco South, as I said, is led by the CSRR, the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research in South Africa. But we cover Angola, Namibia, South Africa, Mozambique, Tanzania and Kenya in our consortium. And we build systems, information systems that look at, for example, fisheries, aquaculture, uh, water quality, safety at sea. Um, so it's essentially looking at how do we protect our oceans from illegal fishing. There's a lot of illegal uh, organizations around the world that come into Africa's waters and basically steal our fishes. There's uh, coral beaching that's happening that affects tourism. There's issues around uh, pollution that we have, to, we have to monitor and safeguard as well. Uh, so the systems we build, as I say, it alerts and monitors um, uh, and, and warns our users to protect our oceans. One of our other products that we work with a private company is to help small scale fishermen, you know, that have small boats. And many in Africa are small scale farmers. They to go out using an application that will warn them about whether the weather conditions are going to be safe so they don't put themselves in danger. It warns them about where's the best zones to catch the fish and more importantly the price. So when they come back in their small boats, they get the best price for their products. So these are the kind of services that help poor citizens in Africa to make a better livelihood. And it's all because of the GMS in Africa program and the sponsorship by the African Union that we are able to do this. So this is day three of the GMS uh, conference. It's been wonderful because we get to meet all the other participants from around Africa. We meet all the 12 consortium. We learn about what they do and how we can work together. Because we don't just don't want to work as Southern Africa. We want to work with Western, Eastern, Northern Africa. So that's what's the benefit of this week, is to look at how we all can collaborate and work in partnerships. CSR has been selected for the second phase, where we're going to be working with Mauritius. So we're really coming here to learn a lot so that in the next four years, we improve and provide better services to people in Africa.